Superman 1983 7 here. How you doing? Juno, ready to fucking go. Good fucking, good video, man. Um, abortion, man. I fucking, I can't, I can't get over this shit. Um, I'm not in Oklahoma. Thank fucking God. No offense to anybody that's actually fucking sane in Oklahoma, but this state is off the fucking charts, okay? Now, listen to me on this and why this state is off the fucking charts. Juno, you just made a fucking video about it, okay? Abortion. What the fuck is wrong with abortion, okay? Say if a 30-year-old man rapes a 14-year-old girl. That, like, brutally rapes her. She survives and she gets pregnant. You have to go through all this shit to get a fucking abortion? How's this gonna fucking affect the little girl? Like, you guys should have fucking... There should be a mandate on it. On exactly how this shit should be fucking run. Alright? You shouldn't have these Bible Belt motherfuckers running around saying, Well, this is what God said, and this is what God says, so we have to listen to God, so no one's allowed to have an abortion, we'll just increase population, we'll... Just, uh, mom's not gonna like the kid all that much, but fuck, put it through fucking foster care for the rest of his life. He won't know. It's good. What the fuck ever. Okay, now Oklahoma, I had a problem with you guys since 99, okay? Getting evolution out of the fucking school systems? Are you fucking serious? Now, what are you doing? Well, you get raped and get pregnant or get pregnant by mistake and don't think you can afford the kid or if you're making any kind of sensible fucking judgments in your life, although fucking rough and hard to deal with, what do we do? Nothing. State says you can't do fucking shit and if you, do, if you can't do shit, you have to do this this way, like this, and like this, and like this. And this is how you have to do it. You have a screen right next to your face showing you why they take this thing out of you, which is fucked. So, what can we do with all this? Nothing. How about Oklahoma citizens, you know, the people that the government's actually fucking working for, stand the fuck up and speak their minds. Or, this is the problem. There's too many fucking Christians or Catholics or whatever roam around saying, Well, I fucking agree with that. You guys should not have abortions. Get your fucking heads out of your asses. Alright? It's not your fucking choice. Some, sometimes people get themselves in situations where they really don't want to be in. And this is, although a shitty fucking decision, and something really a lot of people don't want to go through with. Alright? People like babies. Alright? But sometimes it's not the right sick uh, situation or circumstances to raise a kid in. Oh, well, head the kid, give it up for adoption. How many kids in the United States are put up for adoption and stuck in foster care for their entire fucking lives? A lot. So you want to do that to him, corrupt him. All right, so he goes to the foster care system, probably ends up in jail or addicted to some drugs or dies at 22. You just killed the fucking kid yourself. Took 21 years extra longer and provided a lot of anguish for that person. But whatever, right? As long as there's no killing of fetuses, that's great. Right? No. Oklahoma, I'm sending a shout out to you. Alright? Stand the fuck up for what you believe in. Unless you're trying to dictate how other people make choices in their own lives. What is the problem with this? What is the problem with Oklahoma? Uh, most, a good portion of the rest of the world understands exactly what's going on and understands that hard choices are hard choices are your choices. Okay, those are the choices that you internally struggle with. All right, really, really close to home choices that can affect you and will affect you for years after. Right, right. So why? Do we allow the government, or the Oklahoma State Senate for that matter, to provide us with even more hurt and more anguish? And I, I, I agree with, I agree with fucking um, Juno completely when he, when he goes on about all these men and fucking, um, you know, anti-choice and stuff like that. Man, you got, you're the fucking problem. All right, wrap your shit before you stick it in the dip. All right, that's all you gotta do. All right, and if to go, oh, she never told me. Fuck you, she never told you. She, I thought she was on birth control. Don't fucking assume shit. Just wrap your motherfucking dick. Anyway, 
Enough with the guys. The girl on the state senate, you know, that you were talking about, I can imagine is a very focused and respectable and educated and nice Christian lady. No. No. You're not educated if you don't believe in this, okay? You're not nice if you don't allow people to do the right thing, what they believe is the right thing in their own lives, okay? Um, this fucking girl should be taken and flogged. You know, let's do to her what the Bible says to do to her. Because I bet you fucking money she fucking had sex before she got married. Yeah. What's the Bible tell you to do with that? I'm pretty sure we're supposed to burn her or cut her up or something. Or stone her to death. So... You know, what What should we do? We have two choices right now. One, we follow the laws of the government. When the people that are running the government are following the laws of the Bible. But, to show that they're not following the laws of the Bible, they rewrite it in a completely different way. So, you can kind of compare it to the Bible, and they're trying to do the moral thing that the Bible tells them to do, but it's not exactly, you know, it doesn't exactly direct anything towards the Bible. So they can't, you can't say, well, no, that's not from the Bible. That's just how we feel. Fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. These guys are crazy. I believe in pro-choice. All right? If you don't want to do it, don't do it. If you want to do it, do it. If you're in a circumstance that, you know, you don't like doing it, but it's something you're seriously contemplating, get all the information. If all the information is there and you don't mind it and you feel comfortable and it's the best thing for both you and your family and your situation, go ahead. It's not selfish. It's making a conscious decision by yourself for yourself. And I had enough of this, okay? 99, they take evolution, okay? 2010, and I'm not even going to fill in the fucking gaps from 99 to 2010. But 2010, now this abortion law, if anything needs to be revamped, it's how the government can run itself, okay? There's too much say between people in power and not enough say between, you know, the citizens, you know? Citizens think they have a say in it, but they're like, yeah, this is how we feel. And the Senate's like, oh, okay, we'll listen to you. No. No, we're not going to listen to them. Let's make this law anyway. Motherfuckers won't care. <laughs> it's crazy, alright? And I think everybody that is pro-choice, that actually doesn't mind people that make these decisions for themselves because they know how hard the decision is, and if the decision is made, then you know what? It's probably the correct decision. Then I think everybody should stand up. Call to arms, Oklahoma. Call to arms. Stand the fuck up. And teach your government exactly what era we're in. And what is proper. And what... And how they can't deem what is proper, okay? Anyway. I'm not going to go on about this anymore. But I am going to do one more thing. Juno, you are fan-fucking-tabulous. You're great... Every video I watch, is, you blow my mind, bro. And as for everybody in Oklahoma, excluding illiterate Nick, because <laughs> we all know my history with him, um, stand up, speak your mind, and do what's right. And don't do what the Bible says is right. All right, even if you are on the Bible Belt. Anyway, Superman, nineteen eighty-three, seven. Talk to you guys later. All right.